Please help yourself. And we'll be starting very shortly. I mean, we could start at 8, but we can wait for people. Like, it's up to... I don't want to go here, so... I just got the, uh... Okay. It's cool. Find it from ice. Don't do anything illegal. Oh, that's locked. Then we might get in trouble. We got a warning from the dean. Who's proud? And I'm assuming most of the um, the Rucker Science Department came here. So uh, let's hope to have a good time tonight. So thank you. Yeah, Jack, let's switch seats. So I'll just be introducing some of the background information on the players that I know. Um, so let me describe the Princeton team a little bit. Uh, on our interview questions, I interviewed the team last night and I asked three words to describe themselves and they responded bodacious, voracious, and pancake. So <laughs> that's what the Princeton team is like. We practice every Friday at Frisk 309. So if you're actually in Princeton and want to be part of the team, if you just want to learn something about StarCraft, I encourage everyone to go there. Um, if you're from Rutgers, we're going to beat you tonight. <laughs> yeah. Mike. <laughs> yeah. Mike Chen. Mike Chen. All right, this is Mike Chen coming in, one of our players. Great. <laughs> Our bench has been evaded. <laughs> Your bench. Uh, Your bench has been evaded. Can you go check on the players and talk to them to this party after? Alright, I'll come in. Wait. Who's Rutgers? Class of Yeah. Yeah. All right, this, uh, this event is also sponsored by Project Sport from the lovely um, USG on campus, so a shout out to them. We will be having the players, the players have joined the game, we have PU Magnius, who's a Zerg player, versus Plazaquai, a Terran player, and they should be coming in here right now. Oh, there they are. Hello, so this is our first set. Give them a hand. Players introduce themselves to us. Alright, what's up? Uh, oh, pardon me. Alright, I'm uh, David Magnius K, representing Princeton University. I play Zerg. Hi, um, I'm Hyung Oh, and I'm from Rockers. I'm a turn player. So, what are your uh, expectations tonight? Well, uh, I expect I expect a good match, uh, both in mind against Class and uh, and overall the best of five. I, I'm I'm confident we'll take this, but it'll uh, they'll put up a fight. What do you think about that, Class? I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So with that, the players will be heading back up to the main room, and we'll be starting game one soon. Somebody sponsored. All right, guys. Uh, we're about to start. I'm gonna hand the phone over to. Him. Microphone, the, uh, the microphone. Microphone. But here we go. This is going to be ZBTM Asgard. Asgard is a new map, I believe. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, snap. Uh, I'm so All right. Pro. Yeah? What, what's wrong? Did you off nine? I did. I'm having troubles. Excuse us. You have Camtasia up? Yeah. Anyway, we do have the Zerg in the 3 o'clock position as Magnus, and in the, um, I would say, 10 o'clock position, we have the Blue Terran as class. And I'm going to pass the phone, the microphone over. So, uh, just to give some background information on these players, hopefully Camtasia is working, by the way, but these players are classified from Rutgers. He's the Blue Terran. Terran is the humanoid race in StarCraft. If you don't play StarCraft, just give me some background. And the Zerg player is David Kay, who's playing for Princeton. He's spawning as Orange. Go Tigers. And he is the Zerg, he is the Zerg player, which is the kind of alien, except the really creepy alien race in StarCraft. Right. So, um... Would you like to? Sure. So I looked at this map a little bit before, and um, ZVT is pretty, pretty interesting on this map. We do have close naturals to each other, so uh, we should be expecting some sort of uh, fast expand, expand from both players. Um, we do see that the Zerg is uh, opening up with a standard 12, uh, uh, probably a 12 um, hatchery, uh, whereas the Terran is deciding to block as well. well. We'll be interested to see if he's going to gas first or not. Uh, this will show us if he's going to be uh, mecking or not, um, because mecking has been pretty popular as of late. This is a... 
Slagging a little bit. Extra high latency. Uh, just keep it high. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. Okay. okay, this is a one on one player map, so they do know the positions of each other. Um, but we do have a fast scout going in uh, from the Terran. Uh, the Zerg was able to place the hatchery down, so the Terran didn't try to stop anything. But we do see the regular 12 hatch and a 12 drone right now. So he did get the, the 12 drone before he gets the spawning pool. Uh, just planning on getting more economy rather than uh, getting all of his units as fast. Uh, from the Terran, he is willing and did get the refinery, so we should be expecting some mech play from him. Um, we'll see how many SCVs he keeps on gas. That'll show us the deviation if he chooses to go to Starport or another factory or just to safely expand. Uh, all three of which are, are pretty popular uh, and were popularized by uh, Fantasy for all you people that watch the, uh, the, the pro scene. Dumb. So everything's pretty standard. We don't see the Zerg taking the extractor, so we could expect a third hatchery so far, right now, uh, since they're, he's saving up all of his, his minerals to get the 300 minerals to make the hatchery. And that'll increase his production capabilities um, and further extend his macro. Uh, generally, when you three hatch, you, you really try to uh, strengthen your macro as much as possible. And we do see that third hatch going down. Um, a little note about this map. Uh, the expansions don't have a lot of minerals in them, but um, we can see there's only six there. Generally, there is seven, eight, or nine to an expansion on other maps. But the proximity of the third uh, expansion is rather close. Um, <laughs> and they do contain a gas. Uh, so it is going to be easier to take the third expansion for both races. Uh, but the, the intro to mid-game is going to be slightly slower in terms of the massive units since we don't have as many mineral patches as normal. Um, everything is pretty much going standard. Uh, a three hatch versus a mech. Terran. Um, we just have to wait until see, to see the deviations of how the Terran plays this out. And we see the Zerg trying to get rid of the scouting uh, SEV and it easily does that. And the first vulture comes out, so we do see some pressure. The Zerg hasn't put up any sunken colonies, and with the vulture you can do a lot of harass with that, uh, with a patrol attack. and kill a good number of Zerglings and um, and drones, but I do believe that, is there a some colony maker? Oh no, it's a block, it's a, hy it's a hydralis den, but thankfully that egg is blocking that, that little path, so it's not going to have complete uh, control, but the, the vulture is getting in here, and it already has one drone kill, that's pretty big, it might get the other, but nope, it wasn't able to do that, and the vulture is trying to get up that ridge, but I don't think it's going to be able to. Uh, one Zergling goes down, and only one hit on the vulture has been uh, has been done.